today and we're going to be working on some uh, last minute Christmas gifts for the holiday season. I picked up some of these tumblers off Amazon and today we're going to be doing some laser engraving on these tumblers for holiday gifts. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do. So here we are in Lightburn and I'm just going to do this etching here. All of this was created in Inkscape and then I exported it as a .svg file over into Lightburn. I would like to say that it was really simple and straightforward but there was a few tricks uh, to getting this to come out right and to make sure that the lettering was filled in correctly. There was a couple of uh, tutorial videos that I checked out uh, mainly from Laser Everything. That guy does a really good job of going over all the different uh, things you need to do in order to uh, get something to come out successfully. So I'll put a link in the video description for that. But let's go ahead and uh, start etching these. Uh, these are pretty nice tumblers. They're not Yeti, uh, but I didn't want to spend $35 for a tumbler and then have to etch it. Um, you know, you never know if you're going to screw one of these up. But it is a nice stainless steel tumbler. It says it'll keep cold drinks cold for nine hours and hot drinks hot for uh, three hours. It's, I think it's going to really hold up really well. But we're going to get this put in here. Um, one of the tricks to this is making sure that you have the uh, distance correct where you want it. And that when you turn it, it doesn't do any it's not out of center but I think this is uh, pretty good so what we're, we're gonna be etching here is uh, like I said for some Christmas gifts it's gonna take a few minutes uh, we've got it set for uh, fill and 200 speed and 60 power probably could get by with a little bit less but I think this is going to come out nice and dark which is what I'm really looking for uh, let's take a look at the hatch pattern. So the hatch is 0 .01 line interval and I'm doing a 45 degree scan angle. So it's going to hatch this way and then come back and hatch another way. And that cross hatch gives me, um, it really fills in really nice. So I think it's going to turn out uh, really good. So another thing we want to do is make sure that we're level uh, this way and of course we're you know centered and uh, on the center line. So let's get started. Alright so we've got the laser powered up it's going to be a little bit loud. This is going to take a, a little while to do this but I'll film uh, as much of it as I can. Uh, you don't want to sit through uh, 10 or 15 minutes of this. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take. Um, we're going to start out in the center and let's get ready to go. Not sure how much you're going to be able to see through this uh, greenness here, but see if I can get a better camera angle. There we go. We can see a little bit of it.
All right. Let's take a look. Turn this off. Ooh, so we can hear ourselves think. Alright, looks pretty good. Yeah, it turned out really nice. It's kind of dark, but then we need to clean it. So I'm going to use a little, uh, just to use a little isopropyl alcohol spray on there. Get it wet and just wipe that on. Get all the whiteness off of it. Then it turns out turns out really nice. Just light on here. Oh, there we go. Might be too much light. All right. Okay, so now on the B side, I'm just going to put an initial. Let me get set up, and then we'll do that. Okay, so we've got it set up here. Everything's in center here. We're going to be putting this B on here. And uh, it's just the same process. I make sure that I was 180 out from the other side. Hopefully it'll come out fairly decent. Get back over here. Maybe you guys can see it. And we're just going to get our glasses on here. And uh, go. Well, all right, guys. Turn that off. It's so loud. Turned out really good. Nice little Christmas gift. Now you can see how dark it is. I'm going to clean it. A little alcohol and get some of that carbonization off of there. A little bit better. Now I can see the lines, if you look real close, there's there are some lines there. I'm not sure if my step over is too much. I might can increase uh, decrease that a little bit and get a little bit better uh, resolution on that, but overall I think it turned out uh, really nice. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in. Uh, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. That way when I post a new video like this one, 
if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out stop by laser everything and check out some of his videos on how to convert SVG files into uh, Inkscape so that you can uh, import it into Lightburn a lot of good tips and tricks over there uh, the new enclosure works really well uh, when you're doing this etching like this um, you're basically vaporizing this material uh, some of the stainless steel as well as this powder coating so um, it'll leave a magnetic taste in your mouth if you don't uh, have good ventilation it's not really healthy but the fan is doing a really good job of exhausting all this uh, vapor and uh, I can see there's like a, a film inside the cabinet and there's like a dust on top of the laser so you can see that that mark right there that's just dust so it's definitely uh, exhausting all that bad fumes and stuff so I think that's uh, really nice that the enclosure it's doing what I uh, had intended it to do. Guys, that'll wrap up 2022. I look forward to 2023. I've got a new project that's coming up, and I'll unveil it after the first of the year. I hope you guys will be interested in that. Life's really busy, and so there's a lot going on. I really wanted to get on my linear rail conversion this year, but I didn't even touch it, unfortunately. And... Uh, that's one of the problems you have when you have a CNC ma machine that's working real well like the Precision Matthews conversion I did a few years ago. Um, now with the ATC it's just really working well and so I don't have the urgency to get the linear rail project going. But hopefully uh, I'll find some time or be able to free up some time next year to get that done. Well alright guys that will wrap up this video. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also click on that notification bell. That way when I post a new video like this one, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe.